The old printers are busy this morning. A bit of a noise in there. Sorry about the noise. I'm doing um, a flatbed truck, five uh, inch scale. Um, of Fingerverse. Is it Fingerverse or Fingerverse? Anyway, I'm copying it off there and I'm going to give it a go. Um, that's a third of the chassis. You do two, you do two, you do two of them. You do one of those, which is the middle piece. I've already done some, uh, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, Axle boxes, axle boxes, half of the axle box. Doing the other half, I've got this one. And some supports. I don't know what the supports are for at the moment, but we will find them. I think they're the brake supports. I don't know, arm supports, whatever. Yeah, I am. Um, I bought this filament from Prusa. They're doing, um, it's what they call uh, factory seconds. So I'm going to give that a run. I bought, I bought six of these, 13, 13 pound each, uh, which is nearly half price. We have to pay for the shipping, and the shipping cost me 15 pound. So, Looking at just under a hundred quid for six rolls of filament with shipping, so it wasn't too bad. And I have printed a few bits off. I printed the old Prusa uh, whistle, and it's it's like it's got like a metal a, a metal effect. It's, can you see it's glinting? It's got a nice nice. Uh, it's a bit stringy when it comes out. It's a bit lumpy. Uh, it's printing, it seems to be printing okay. They, I mean, they, they say there's nothing wrong with it, it's just that it's not wound very well. So it's not, it's not wound on there very well. Uh, I think this one, that's the worst one. It's not wound on properly. But, it's not bothering me. Let's uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, there's quite a bit of printing to do. I think that's going to take, that takes a couple of hours on this one, two hours, 20 minutes. That one takes four hours. I've done this in draft. And this one takes five hours, seven minutes, I think it's more. They're both, both in draft. The, uh, the four and the um, three. But we're going to see how this filament goes. Yeah. So, I'm going to leave it there, pop it away. Uh, this, the Prusa 4 is faster than the 3, much faster. Um, some, of the, some of the prints I asked it to do, I compared them on the time-wise on draft, and some were like half an hour, some were like Three quarters of an hour um, faster on the four. So all this myth about it's not faster, it is. It is much faster. And the jewelry is out on this uh, filament at the moment. So we'll see what it can do. It's a kilo roll, and it's thirty. I think it's thirteen sixty or thirteen something. But it is. Um, well, if, it, if it, this proves to be okay, I'll get another six. Because I like the grey. I like the silvery, silver grey. Right, I'll, I'll leave you there. Last look at the old printers going like the clappers. That means fast in English. It's, it's got there. One hour, 17 minutes to run. This one has got three hours thirteen, and this one has got four hours twenty-five. So we are back.
after hours of printing. I've got a lot more parts printed off. Uh, that's the one I design and printed. Uh, this is in five inch. If you watched the video before, oh, this is a. I'm linking this to the same video I just done. So, yeah, um, as you can see, it's rolling, rolling very well, as that as that one does. So yeah, that's the flat bed. It's it is sprung. I'll put some springs in there. You can see the little springs. It does it does flex. What I am going to do, I've got a piece of plywood. I've got a piece of plywood here. And I'll plonk that on top, cut it to size, plonk that on top. All the all the fixing holes are in the chassis. As you can see there, my hands in the way. The holes there, all, all around the top. So I've got loads of fixing holes. Yeah, I'm going to do a flat bed, two flat beds at the moment. Um, what I will do is these, this boarding I'll put on here, I'm going to do the same on top of the plate. I'm just going to stick, I'll print that, I'll do that on the printer, the uh, floorboards, and I'll, put, I'll do the same on here as well, and I'll stick it to that. Um, ideally, you, need, you do need a piece of plywood, something nice and firm, uh, add a bit of weight to it. Um, it's, it's, it's quite heavy, but it's not as heavy as you think. Um, but it's, it's rolling really well. Yeah, I've got lots to do on it yet. It's got the, the spring load, the hooks. That one's going to be changed. That's rubbish. And I'll just put that on to see how it looks. But um, I wasn't very happy with the uh, buffers. On, on here at all, um, so I, re I printed my own, I've, I've, I've more or less copied these, well, the, that's my design anyway, um, there's this one, this, this one loaded, just need a bit, I don't oil anything until it's been painted, because the oil gets into the plastic and it just, it, you can't paint it, so it's, um, it's a little bit squeaky, yeah. Um, those springs, uh, they do, they do spring a little bit. That's not the body bending. Um, these spring a little bit more. Not much, but I don't think you need loads of spring on it, to be honest. These rivets are holding the brackets that hold the um, spring in line. Or else the whole mechanism would the whole mechanism would just drop off. So that's all the solvent in at the moment. What I am going to do is either get some very fine screws or cut these rivets off to size and just stick them in um, with the dome with the dome part sticking sticking out there. I've done it on on different jobs before. Uh, no, they, they never they hardly ever fall out. So. And if they do, I'll just have to get some screws in. I will get some screws, um, but I'm just doing a temporary job on it. So just to see, just to improvise with some of the, um, I don't like these big screws I put in there, to be honest. I'd rather have a nut, a nut and bolt. Because you wouldn't see that on a real engine, would you really? Well, on a real truck. But I'm very pleased. It's a bit of a, bit of a step up to my, uh, 45 mil scale so yeah I'll, I'll definitely print another one of these off because you, you can put any you can put any body on it you can put petrol tankers on it oil tankers cattle wagons anything you like guards vans brake vans um yeah i think i think it's uh, i think it's a nice a nice design because the printer beds are that that I've uh, just about fitted on my printer bed. Because obviously I have to do two. Um, but yeah, I, 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 like, I like this one. And I, I like, yeah, I like the pair of them. I think they're, I think they're really good. 
very happy with it. Yeah. You get this the stringy bit here where I should I, what I should have done is I should have supported it, but I didn't bother. I just want to see if it would do it without being supported. But it's it's a lovely way this goes together, these dovetail joints. And and when when the plastic cools down and you put them together, when you put but they, when it's cooled down, they really do fit exactly and absolutely perfect. And they're a little bit tight to get undone after that. I haven't glued anything. The only thing I've glued is the spring support, which is inside the wheel, they're just the other side of the wheel. But I won't glue anything until I'm happy that everything's working. But it, the raw is beautiful, beautiful. You can't, you can't knock that. There he is. I'll not wait to see these on the track. Yeah, splendid. Anyway, I'll give you a further update later on. Where all the other bits and pieces are on. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I suppose I could get away with these. Um, but a bit. Not happy with it. Not happy with that at all. I want to see some nuts and bolts. I like nuts and bolts. Right, yeah, I'll leave you there then. Bye bye.